Welcome back tubers. I got this in the mail um, yesterday and plugged it in, put the settings in and hit go or hit OK. It turned on and about 5 to 10 seconds later it went poof and a whole bunch of white smoke poured out of the top of it. And so I've just pretty much pulled it off the wall. So I've, I was really hoping to have this third one pretty much from the factory plugged in, connected to compare it to the other two. However, with this one just blowing straight away, um, it blew because I had the two 240, sorry, two 250 watt panels plugged into it. So the voltage is slightly higher than the other um, than the other ones. So because of that, it must have just blew the cap. So the sensitivity um, of the cap must be just okay for the the other unit, but just having that very slight voltage increase um, caused the cap to blow within about yeah, five to ten seconds after turning it on. And I've just pulled it apart and this cap here is not looking happy. So that's obviously the one that blew its fuse or blew its kind of stack. Um, I've never seen a capacitor blow before but it, it kind of just went poof and a whole bunch of smoke just came out, or white smoke and nothing happened after that so I pulled the fuse out and left it and now today I'm gonna have to replace that cap with something else and hopefully it turns back on again and I haven't kind of killed it so what I'll do is I'll replace that very similar to what I do in the other videos and we'll um, we'll see if it works right so it's back on the wall again now um, what I've done is I've used one capacitor I've managed to find at the local electronics store a 75 volt a 4000 and the advantage of this one is it's actually got some um, some termination parts so that you can just use a plug and what I've got is I've got that plugged in so that way it's nice and easy for me to unplug again which is pretty good um, so I like that I've also just cabled it in the same way pretty much going straight to, to the PCB um, and it's far easier to use one than it is to use four like I did down here so I'm much happier with that um, it keeps it much simpler and it means that I can unplug it and muck around with it. Now the only thing I've done uh, is just fix that capacitor and the other one that was in there that was 63 volts. So I haven't done any of the other capacitors in here. That's pretty much all I've done is I've just changed the in input capacitors and stuck it on the wall. So as you see they're all kind of um, fired up and I haven't turned it on for, uh, yet today but I did run the batteries down a bit last night with some testing so I took about one and a half kilowatts out of the battery pack last night so that means that when I turn this on it sounds like a um, it sounds very loud but it also uh, means that we should be able to charge at full amps or as much as we can kind of get out of it obviously when the batteries are almost fully charged then the um, amperage drops off so this will be quite a good little test actually so if I turn all these on when they kind of get going you'll it's quite loud um, it's a bit annoying but I'm not, I don't spend most of my time in the garage so it's not really too much of an issue it'd be nice if they had quiet fans so in a second you should see all these kind of fire up I'll just try and zoom in just a little bit better I'm holding the camera rather than using the tripod so And you see the centre one, in fact what I'll do is I'll just quickly put, oh no we might as well wait for this, um, you see the centre one fired up quicker, so that one's got no, so the pump just went on so I just turned the camera off quickly. So um, the middle one um, started up much quicker and the main reason for that is it doesn't have the bigger caps on the input side. So this unit here obviously um, revs up a lot quicker. It's of this unit here has got the three um, capacitors um, changed. What I found is by changing the capacitors on both these units with the changed capacitors, those three on the um, the the board, as per my previous videos, um, I found that the, it affects the voltage that it reads. So the voltage on these are quite similar. However, the voltage on the top one is much lower uh, on the battery voltage. So whatever those three capacitors are doing, they're also changing the, um, they're obviously helping the MPP um, part of it, but it's also n not helping the voltage uh, measurements. So 
that's something to kind of just watch out for. It's not too much of a problem, you just adjust the voltage um, as an offset so we can work around it. So as you can see, um, this one here is up to 350, or so it's 340, and that one's up to the bottom up and down ones are over 300 watts, which is good. I would expect that to be a little bit higher than they are. They should relatively be um, within, uh, well they should be quite close. The one thing I have really have noticed a lot is the what you set the panel voltage to be is really important. If you set that too low then it will constantly drop out. So that uh, solar panel voltage needs to be high enough um, for it to be able to use that value and then base whatever its calculations are on that. So that's what I have been adjusting that and just seeing how that goes and writing down what I've put and then adjusting it again. So it'll be it'll be great if that was kind of an automatic thing where you didn't have to set the um, solar panel voltage, but for some reason on these units you do. And um, yeah, we're currently what within 10, 15 watts of each other here, and this one's a bit lower, but I'm not too sure why that is. This has got the two 250 watt panels on it. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll write on the right hand side here what um, is where, just to make it easier in editing. So yeah, they, um, obviously this one's come back to life after that capacitor blowing up, so obviously it's not too much of a critical thing if you do accidentally blow a cap, or at least those caps. These are all set to four and a half minutes on the, um, the, the screen timer. And there was a bird on the garage roof, so I'm sure him flying around won't be handy. So with all those, with 4.4 um, amps, 4.7 amps and 4.6 amps, on our meter here, we're putting 13.4 amps back into the batteries. Yes, that's 13.47 at uh, 79 volts, roughly. Not too sure how well you'll be able to see that, but... So I'm pretty happy with that. Which is pretty much exactly what those um, those numbers there are saying, I obviously haven't calculated it, but it's probably pretty close to 13 point something. So yeah, that's a bit of an update to that. Um, all three controllers are up and running, they're all on the wall, and they seem to be doing a, a, a good enough job for now. Um, really what I'm going to do is just keep monitoring it and making adjustments and seeing if I can get the, um, the solar panel voltage to be exactly what it needs to be. It seems to not like, um, like if I was to put 61 um, volts in there, which is what I would kind of expect it to be. For example, on this unit here, where it's got the two 240 watt panels, um, with each of those panels being um, 30.5, I think. So we should have 61 as a total in series, but it seems to like a slightly higher number than 61. It seems to run better on 60. Um, something in fact what I'll do since they've all kind of calmed down a bit is I'll just quickly turn them off and show you what they are at so you'll see there this unit here is I've got 60.5 or 61.5 that one's 62 and this one here is also 62 so what I might just quickly try is adjusting this up slightly Let's try it here. Sixty-two point five. And we'll just see if that makes a difference to how much it puts out and see if that makes it in line with this one here, which was seem it seems to be running about what twenty watts more. And so we'll just see how that kind of made if that made any difference at all. So yeah, again, just a, a, by changing or by adjusting those numbers, it, it really does affect 
um, certain things and also when there's low light if those numbers if those numbers on the solar panel voltage aren't correct then it will drop out like it does when there's a cloud or something so as you see straight away this is just going up much quicker in fact me putting my hand in front of the camera didn't really work So anyway, while this plane comes over, what I'll do is I'll play with it a bit more and um, see how it goes. So just before I leave the video, um, this has just got up to 5 amps, which is good. Come on, focus. There we go. Um, and notice how that's 82 or 80.2. This one's 80.3, and the top one is way up by 79. So, as you can see, these numbers here are fairly close with the battery voltage reading with the, the, uh, those three capacitors changed, where this one is out by quite a lot. Um, now that's going to be fine once I put those capacitors in there, those other ones, they're all going to be roughly about the same, which is going to make things a bit easier. But you can see straight away that this voltage on this battery is um, out by quite a bit compared to the 80 so we've just gone over five amps so that's good but these ones here uh, this one's still trailing behind a little bit 4.75 amps and this one here is slowly getting up there so anyway i'll keep playing and i'll see you guys in the next video